I move with my guys now. I move with my guys now. And my guys run and go, like, uh, you, 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 what, 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 um, you, you said something about me. You called me. I'm like, nope. I was quiet there. I never spoke. Consistently, they are running. Even if you are walking. Ah, uh, Papa, you said, you, you said what, what did you say? Uh, I should do what? I'm like, no, I never said no, but you said something. You, you, you said, even they heard it. And the guys are like, no, we never heard anything. <laughs> they are being called by the Holy Ghost, but they don't know how to respond. Hi, family, and welcome to yet another video. Thank you for being there and being active on this very channel, family. Family, I chance upon a video from Prophet Tupid Angel, and I think it was very important I share it on this very channel. Now, he teaches on how to hear from God. Family, you are aware that God is always talking. God is always speaking to us, but it is just that we are not in tune with him. And this sermon, the prophet teaches us how we can hear from God. Let us listen, family, as he teaches us. Best friend in never greeting him. And the Bible says the Holy Ghost has been given to you is a helpmate, is a helper, is somebody who is a companion, yet you don't talk to him. Listen, when I get into the shop, whether it's Gucci, I don't know what it is, I will talk to him. Even if I pick it, I get in there and go like, yeah, when I enter in that shop, whatever shoe I like, the Holy Ghost likes it. I go in the Holy Ghost, make the choice. I go there, even if, oh, I speak through me, my desires, my eyes. Yeah. The moment I see a thing, I like it, might be a suit, it might be a shoe, I just go there and be like, wow, Holy Ghost, you got choice. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you see, right now, it's funny. Yes, because it is. Number two, because you can't even understand it like people would think, what? You are even talking to yourself? soliloquizing no sir no ma'am i'm talking to the holy ghost you just don't know him because you're short-sighted you've never seen him you have listen you have to speak to him until he shows up physically because he is there physically but your eyes have not seen it do you know if you practice hearing the holy spirit and you practice saying i'm hearing him he will start talking the problem is you never do it you confess I'm rich, I'm rich, but you never confess. The Holy Ghost, I see him. You, you never. You just confess for money. But you can't confess seeing angels. So what happened? Were you in the house? Yeah, I saw angels today. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm seeing them now. Do you see them? No. But let the poor say I'm rich. Let the weak say I'm strong. Is that a lie? No. My spirit is seeing them, but these eyes have not gone, grown enough to go there. So what do I do? Do I stop confessing? No, I don't. I see angels. Everywhere I go, I see angels. Everywhere I go, I see angels. Everything around me, I see angels. I move with my guys now. I move with my guys now. And my guys run and go, like, uh, you, 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 what, 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 um, you, you said something about me. You called me. I'm like, nope. I was quiet there. I never spoke. Consistently, they are running. Even if you are walking. Ah, uh, Papa, you said, you, you said what, what, what did you say? Uh, I should do what? I'm like, no, I never said no, but you said something. You, you, you said, even they heard it. And the guys are like, no, we never heard anything. <laughs> they are being called by the Holy Ghost, but they don't know how to respond. <laughs> now, nah, you're not missing. You, you're not missing it. You're not missing it today. I refuse that you miss it. I refuse it. <laughs> if you're watching me, I refuse that you miss it. <laughs> Samuel had that problem. Until Eli said, any time you hear it. Yes. So I, 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 I see them going like, um, even him, Irene. You, you, said, you said something. I said, no, I didn't speak to you. I would have loved to say something to you, but I never said something. So what then they do is they go back, I, I hate it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking too much. And all of them, have had experience almost every day I walk with them, they get their names called. Instead of saying, speak, yeah. your servant is listening. Whoa. Whoa. They start analyzing that, no, I think he said it. He said it. I know for sure he said it. No, I never said nothing. I'll just be moving like that. 
If I'm talking to you, you will know I'm talking to you. Sit down. I want a situation where you will hear God. And come to church and your, your testimony will be like, man of God, you know what happened when you taught me that thing? I went home and I was just sleeping there and I heard my voice. Amen. And I said, what is this? I answered. You will be given information you don't, you don't even expect to get. But right now, you are too much. You analyze a lot. You want to know, is it true? Did I really hear correctly? Was it really a voice? No, just answer. Lord, I'm listening. Speak. How do I know if it is the Holy Ghost? The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. My sheep. My sheep will hear. It says, another man, they will not hear. But my sheep hear my voice. So what do you mean I'll hear his voice? Clearly, it is possible to. You don't need a prophet to hear God's voice. You can hear from your house. What the prophet does is when he comes, is simply to confirm the thing that God told you in your house. So your problem is you're waiting for me to give you some lesson. That which was from the beginning. The one we saw. We experienced what he said. We saw it. We heard him. We touched him. Rubbed against him. That is the life that was manifested. Well, from the point of deep summer from Prophet Angel once again. So as you all heard, first of all, want to hear from God, then you have to be a sheep. The Bible says, my sheep hears my voice. So it means, first of all, one, if you are not a sheep for God, you cannot hear from Him. It means if you are not a child of God, then you cannot hear Him speak. Two, he made mention that we analyze so much. We want to be sure that from God is it really true. So these things also delay God from speak to from speaking to us family. So these are the things that we need to watch family. First of all, one, you should be a child of God. It's only God's children that can hear from him. And two, we should minimize the analysis. Because when you hear from God, we want to be sure. And as we try to analyze him, we delay in the whole process. He made mention that we don't need a prophet. A prophet only comes to confirm what God has already told us. This is a deep sermon of family. And I know this sermon has really blessed you, as it has to me. I'll see you, family, in the next video. God, which really bless you.